Hey guys, Knoopsy here. Welcome back to ATS2 Season 2. We're in the second leg of our journey from Milan on our way to Heilbronn, I believe. Halfway there and we're crossing over to Germany soon. Just found this rest area, just uh, stretched our legs a bit, but now we're ready to continue. Let's do this. Max's sounds at work. With Fred Scania. Speaking of guys, I wanted to do something. I wanted to be a bit more personal, but I I need your help on this. So I'm thinking we need a name for this truck. And it has to be a guy's name. Because it feels like a guy to me. But I can't think of any name that fits it perfectly. So, if you guys have ideas, let me know. So, it's easier to call our truck. Because right now, how do I call it? I call it what? Fred Scania. It doesn't feel like mine, right? It sounds like Fred's. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we need something to make it ours. Clubsy Scania. Now, uh, so, I'm not sure. What's a name that would fit perfectly with this guy? Maybe we'll know. Once we drive more with it. Also, how's the sounds now? When I first asked you, we were on the in the city where the engine was first was not really revving too high, but now we're we're on the highway. It's uh, s uh, struggling a bit more, so it's louder. So you guys, let me know if it's too loud now, okay? And I will easily adjust it. I am recording this right after the previous one. So if in case you commented there, I have not read that one here yet. But I will read that and I'll get to it on the next episode. Okay? Don't worry about that. Be worry-free just like Alan over here. <laughs> Pretty cozy with this huge bed. Comes with its own light. Rex is still super excited with our trip, always eyes forward. He kind of gets in the way sometimes when I look to the right, when I look at my right mirror, but I'm glad for the company, so it's worth it. No regrets there. The road's here. Thanks, Lori. The roads here are a bit sharp, though. I'm hoping to get to the newer areas. Whoa, 40? Why? Out of nowhere, okay. Doesn't look too sharp to me, but fine. We'll follow the laws so we don't incur any penalties. Even though we're not uh, dirt poor anymore, <laughs> we do have some funds, some buffers. I don't want to spend it out of nowhere, right? I want to make it count. Where I spend it. Right, there we go. Can we speed up now? Let's double check. No, still 40 in here. Okay. Let's go with that then. Maybe I can zoom out like this. Yeah, maybe it helps if I zoom out like this. So we get an idea of the speed limit. Get an idea of the high level where we are. Oh, this guy will not let me through. There you go. He did let me through. Rex, one second. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, so you get the bird's eye view of the map. But for the turn-by-turn -turn instructions, we still need Lori. Okay, and we'll also read the signs for sure. Luzerne. Bern. So that's going to the east, I think. Maybe. No, actually, I think it goes west. Yeah. But we are headed north, so we're continuing this way. Yeah, I think that one is a very nice way of uh, having it, right? So we always have the speed limit. And we, we're not focused on it. We're not really looking at it so much. So we can still focus on what's outside. And for actual navigation, we have lorry guiding us. Which exit to take. So I think it's a win-win, win-win, win. win, win, win. <laughs> All the wins. 
Frankfurt am Main. Yes, makes sense that we are on the left side in here. How about this area, guys? Is this Pro Mods area? It does feel like it. it? Does feel very busy. It feels very accurate. Not so sure, but it sure seems like it. You know, we have some folks here. We have some members in the community who are experts at this. They know exactly which areas are pro mods, which areas are SES, which areas are part of which DLC, or part of the base map. You guys are amazing. I could never get to that level. So, uh, yeah, if, if we have one of those watching, let me know, okay? Let me know which part this is. Uh, where the heck are we going here? Is this maybe for trucks on the right? Looks like it's the border. But it looks like it's closed, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe it's because of the like the Schengen routes and whatnot. So no real border uh, crossing. Border measures. It's been closed. Makes sense. And now... Welcome to Germany, guys. Very nice. Okay, good. Baden. Fortenberg. <laughs> Probably not how you read it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Now it should be some relaxing highways. Germany has some of the most relaxing highways I've driven in. Make sure our lights are on. They're very smooth. They're very uh, straightforward. The bends are not so uh, excessive. And yeah, look at that route. If you look at that map. How do you call it again? Do you call it A5? Yeah, this Autobahn number 5. Look how straight that is on the map. So, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. And, oh, yeah. How about a, uh, a check, guys? How does it look like if you have some Germans? Oh, I do have some German colleagues. Maybe I should ask them. I heard temperatures have gotten cold recently. Getting to the zeros, getting to the negative. So, it sure seems like winter is coming very close. Do you guys think we should switch to the frosty mod now? So right now we're still in mild winter. Late autumn slash mild winter. So we have the trees losing their leaves but uh, still no snow. I've heard it did snow already there. or it, uh, I think in... Mm, yeah, near here, near here in this area, western Germany. I think it did snow a couple of times over the past few weekends. So maybe it's time to go to uh, Frosty mod. You guys let me know, okay? The only downside there, the only thing I don't like in Frosty mod is the winter times. The sunrise is very late, the sunset is very early, so lots more night driving. Not a huge fan of that, but mm, it is realistic. And I think we'll be able to experience that a bit today. At least the night time because it's already what 540 and it's getting very dark it's almost sunset already so yes i think we'll uh we'll see we'll see <clears throat> taste of things to come more night driving the only consolation with night driving is even if you can't see the beautiful sceneries anymore at least you get to a sight of the beautiful lamps, right? We do have a mod for that. Street lamps mod, I think. Yeah, that's why those lamps look very nice. They have that kind of foggy cone kind of thing. Which is perfect for autumn. Maybe it's perfect for winter too, I think. I think it would be perfect. Yeah, it does feel real. So no problems there. Hey, what is that? Looks like a stadium? Like a Colosseum? Of 
some sort. Looks like a cylinder, right? Where is that? Oh, that's the biggest of the map already. Strasbourg, is it? What, what org is that? Pop quiz for you guys. West of Germany. There's an, a place that has org at the last part of the name. Is that Tr Strasbourg? That's the only thing I can think of. Maybe, huh? Maybe. Yeah, look at this. It almost feels like it's snowing already with these trees. Right? It almost feels like winter. Wow. Cool. I like that. Also, I'm wondering, I hope with Frosty Mod, I won't need to delete the definition files. You know how I did it for Autumn? I deleted the definition files because some sky boxes were too reddish. Like old sky boxes from pre-140. I hope we don't have that anymore. Because um, the consequence of deleting those definition files is the... Uh... Whoa. Why do we have gravel in here? My goodness. My wheel just acted up like we were on gravel. And you guys heard the sounds, right? Uh, but yes, the... Uh... What was I talking about? The... Uh... Oh my goodness, I forgot about it. Keep lost. Keep left, okay, thank you. Let's see if we can see Heilbronn in here. Yes, it's there. Yes, it's there. I was talking about winter. Oh yeah, the definition files. The consequence of deleting definition files is uh, the temperature reading is not correct anymore. That being said, I don't think we have an outside air temperature reading on this truck. One second, huh? Let's see if we can find something. Fuel consumption, turbo pressure, battery voltage, looks good. Reductant level, what is that? Oh, it's bad blue, okay. The logo. Yeah, I don't think there is a uh, fuel um, outside air temperature, which is perfect, actually. Oh, I th there might be below. Yeah, I think I have to adjust my steering wheel. Anyway, we don't see it, so that's good. And have you seen? Yeah, as I mentioned, as we get on the highway, as we stay on the highway. Look at the fuel economy, guys. 29.9. Oh, that's an amazing score. My goodness, this truck is super fuel efficient. I'm actually pretty happy with 32 but here we're getting something smaller I like it oh I can brag about this <laughs> the, uh, was it DH who was asking yeah I think it was DH who pointed it out that um, you know when we level up I always choose the fuel economy skill it's not really the most optimal skill to choose like it would be better to instead get the other skills so we can get paid more but the fuel efficiency skills is what I choose because um, because I like getting low fuel uh, consumption in there because those are like bragging rights you know how we have our VTC and uh, all our jobs are getting logged in discord oh yo 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 and uh, with those logs in Discord, it shows the details of the job, like how far you driven, what with what truck, what is the fuel efficiency, and that is one of the things that we always look at, or some of people look at and uh, judge others upon <laughs> that factor. So like everything else. It's not uh, counted, it's just the fuel economy, which is, I know, not accurate, but that's how it normally is. How some of the people in our community look at it. So that's why I want max fuel economy scores ASAP, just so I can have those bragging rights. Oh my goodness, have you heard the sound? That is so good. That is so subtle, but that is so good when you have your high beams. You're pulling the left stick, right? That stick on behind the steering wheel, the left side. We're pulling it towards you, and then it's bringing back. That it sounds exactly like that. Right. Very nice. Yards. Exit right ahead. Okay.
Okay, exiting here. Look at the lighting, guys. The lighting is amazing, isn't it? It's perfect. Okay, it's a bit dark. It's a bit dark, so it's Kimby in here. It's amazing. Okay, did I get it right? I hope I got the right exit. She hasn't complained yet, so I think we're good. My goodness, I almost can't see anything. Right, where are we delivering this? To Lidl. It's a very famous, uh, what do you call it, supermarket chain in Germany, I believe. Maybe not only in Germany. Yeah, I've seen one of these when I was here. And you guys are big on those recycling things, right? I really like that. Okay, at the, the, the entrance of the shop, the entrance of the store, there's this like couple of recycling machines. Very interesting. So when you buy something, buy a like uh, it's like soft drinks maybe with that plastic bottle, you get charged a deposit or something like this. And then you, after you consume the drink, you go back. You, you keep the bottle with you. You go back to that entrance of the shop, and then there's like a system where you feed that bottle into the the thing. And then it gives you back the deposit. Something like that, I think. So it encourages people to recycle the bottles. Very nice. Here we go. It's a very nice system. We don't have that in Singapore. But that's a very um, a very responsible way. Now here's little, but uh, where do we... Okay, I'm hoping there is an entrance on that side. I don't think there is. I think I was bamboozled. <laughs> your Dang it, Lori. Might have to do something that I shouldn't do. Close your eyes, kids. Don't do this at home. So here's where we park and the parking should be somewhere over there. That's a bit tricky. Can't actually see it. Maybe it's behind. Yeah, parking this at night. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. But I'm guessing we have to reverse into that place, huh? Okay, I'm guessing it's not an easy kind of deal. Is it this one? Yes, it is. Dang it. Okay. Should I punish you together with me for this? Or should I spare you this uh, punishment? Hmm. So I'll need to reverse. Go that way and then reverse here, blind side, at dark, in the dark. Man, look at those lights. They're beautiful, aren't they? Amazing. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reverse, reverse. Okay, let's try it once. And then if it doesn't work, I'll uh, bring you guys back when we're almost done. Just to save you from that uh, horror. See how nice of a guy I am. Man, the lighting. The lighting is amazing. Although it is a bit dark, I guess, huh? To be fair, I would expect it to be lighter, brighter than this. Okay, that looks good. 
how the heck am I going to gauge if I'm close there I mean I am reversing don't hit that car just turn very slowly I hear that like ticking sound I doubt that's a clock I would I think that's with the engine somewhat. Okay, I think I see the cone there. But we might be turning here a bit too shallow. One second, let's try. Uh, yeah, it's a bit too shallow. So we'll need to move to the left. I think we can do this, guys. I'll, I'll bring you with me. My confidence is going up a bit because we're not too far away. Not too bad. Okay, see something blinking there. Yes. Yeah, the ticking sound. Very interesting sound, huh? <laughs> Rex is kind of in the way, but that's okay. We can manage. Oh, no, 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 no. Still a bit too shallow. But we're getting there bit by bit. I see the cone there. At least we get exposed to some nice sounds, right? Okay. Let's park this thing properly, please. Um, my goodness, I can hardly see out of that area. Okay, so let's turn here and then let's sharpen it up. I hope that makes sense. Oh, it's the wrong key. Does that make sense what I'm doing? One second, let's get out of the truck. Yeah, actually, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's straighten it out. Might be going a bit too much. Yeah, I think I hit the wall there. Just snagged it a bit. No worries. No damage. Okay, there it is. And turn it the other way more. Oh, the reverse lights are actually helping. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Look at this. We are almost there. Even it out. Oh, goodness. This is tricky. Right. And just align it with that entrance at the back. It's pretty good to me. Hey, one second. Is that not it? Maybe we're not perfectly aligned. Okay. How do you want it then? Okay, the cone is here. So we should angle it that way. There, okay, that's one. That's the one. Good. Right, straighten it out. It's when reversing that I hear it often. Good. Oh, actually, I hear it now again. It's a bit tricky because it seems like someone's timing you. <laughs> How long it takes you to reverse? No pressure. No, actually, lots of pressure. We ended up with 30 liters per 100 kms. I'll take it. I will gladly take it. That being said, it is a pretty light load. Almost nothing. Only 3 tons. So maybe uh, maybe that plays a factor, huh? Anyway, so we got paid. Easy peasy. Another 19k in the bank. Nice. Level 14. I'll take it. Thank you. Good, guys. Good. So you have 38k now. We'll make our way north in the next few episodes. As I mentioned, we will make our way to... What's it called? Finnmark. Oh, over here, more to the north. Yeah. This entire area right here. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Okay. Anyway, looking forward to that. We still have quite a ways to go. But we have a goal. Alright. Let's leave it there. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day, guys. Clumsy trucking and catch you soon. Looking forward to your comments. Bye-bye.